Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Bros Game Night. I'm your host, Older Bro. I'm your other host, Younger Bro. And today we continue in Metroid Zero Mission, where we are going upwards because, you know, we need to continue the game. So I'll get to show off a couple things and I'll, I pray that I can actually do them because I may not be able to. I could do that. Or I could just go up this way. Just do it the easier way. That's all I gotta do, is do it the easy way. I'm surprised I dodged that. Right. This, this game has a difference between lava and magma. That's lava. And the, the Varia suit can stand. Magma, the really boiling stuff. The Varia suit can. Uh, shit. This is one of the most annoying uh, shine sparks, by the way. Shine spark. It's so good. Is that the block? Did you have to do that and then stop and then all spark. Shoot. Stop early. Start again. Wait, you have to shine spark twice? Yes. Oh my god. Oh no, we're not done. Block, you can respond. Oh yeah, that was part one. And then you go back down here, and then shine spark over here. Thank you, Super Missiles. I think I can get... No, I think that's one way. About to go up. Yeah. Uh, is this the pole there? What? No. I don't think there is a pole there. Huh. That, that wasn't the thing in, uh, until... Fusion. Oh, Fusion. Because uh, before Metroid Fusion, Samus was not a Metroid. Like, in Metroid Fusion, she has Metroid DNA for the first time. And so she's only weak to cold starting in that game. And that's why in uh, Dread, they bring back the cold rooms, because she is still a Metroid. Okay, we got that area. Thank goodness. Uh, I don't think there's any other areas that I just need to show off. Most of them require stuff that I can't help tap right now. That was the big one I wanted to do, because that has, like, two items. Yeah, I'd say the Super Missiles are worth it. Yeah, they, they kind of are. <clears throat> There's another secret, if, for example, I think I can show it all if I can find it. Somewhere over here, there is a block that, uh, that you can fall in from to go back. Like, you can come in from this side over here and fall down this way, but I don't remember where the block is on this side, and it's very difficult to find. I'll switch back to missiles before I waste them. And might as well charge up, just in case. Thank you, statue. Thank you. 
Not having space jump is quite uh, sad. Now, did I get that one? Yeah, I got that. Oh yeah, also this game uh, is super nice because it shows you on the map that you have two fires, which tells you that both these doors are open. Oh. So. It leads to the place you think it leads. It leads to the boss in every single one of these games. Hello, Space Pirates. Hello, Metroids. The Space Pirates just died by the Metroid. Yeah, they absorb life energy. They died. Okay, well, let's do our first save in Tur uh, Turian. They, they, they suckled on his life. A little bit. A little bit. It looked like a lot of it to me. Well, that's, oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. That's uh, the major. A lot of it did. So, these guys are uh, a little bit hardy, but super, super missiles killed them in one. You also. Oop. Do we have to kill him? Uh, yes. You also want to uh, not get attacked by them because it is a pain in the butt to uh, scream. Screw you, don't. Uh, little uh, fire, <laughs> little donuts. fire donut. Yeah. yeah. I forget what they're actually called, but. They're, they're, they're fire donuts. Yeah, they're that, fire is, donuts. <laughs> that is what they're called. But. Uh, oh, the onion rings. I think they're called onion rings. Fire and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't want this to happen, because the only way you can get them off is with a bomb. Otherwise, they'll suck along you good. Yeah. Oh, come on. Onion rings? What? Holy fuck. Okay. Shit. You got stuck. Is there any way to disable our fire donuts? No. They're a, a hazard. That sucks. So, the way to disable them is for them to die. So, uh, super missiles are a low percent drop, unfortunately. And you're already out. Yep, so that's the sad part. Um, this, by the way, oh, I think the purple, the green ones might have a higher chance. The Hulk donut ring. But it's not much. Uh, anyways, so lower is progression. Up is set. So we shall save. Because of course we should. Save as all good players do. I don't think this wall actually has spots. So we're doing it slow. They're killing them. Yeah, but not as good. Hey, you unless got we got two. Missile. I'm gonna start saving these now. You wanna suck on your precious life? Super missile? Yeah, we're gonna need super missiles in a minute. Yeah. So we'll just uh Well that's not gonna want them at a good height where you can uh, shoot them. Oh, of course. I mean, I said, this is the, uh, the home of the Chozo, and the Chozo are the ones who genetically engineered the Metroids. So. They're basically their guard dogs. They caused their own destruction. Um... And I don't think that's ever been actually confirmed. 
the the way it's always felt like is that the Chozo more just got destroyed by the space pirates, or naturally kind of just faded from existence. And Metroids just got hungry. Yeah, I mean the Metroids just basically lived on SR388 and uh, and like grew out of control. And here they're just there isn't that much life left, so they grow on what little they can, and they've stayed pretty much well, not docile, but. And yeah, you can see how little drops it yet. Like, I'm at six. How many you need? I I don't really need a set number. As many as I can get, but I'm I'm gonna get jack shit. So we'll just move forward. Uh now there's no skip for this door. So we're just gonna have to go through normally. Which takes a lot of super uh, missiles. Please go through the door. Thank you. In Super Metroid, you could just break, go th skip the first one, and it despawns all the doors. Fuck what? Yeah, it's super nice. So that's lava. Or magma, sorry. Uh, oh yeah, the doors also close uh, after a while if you don't keep shooting them. Until they completely die. Hanging on your rings. Ow. It's the brain. This is why you want to have as much health as possible, because there's a, a good chance you're going to repeatedly get knocked into the lava. Flash me. Now there is a uh, there is a good spot that oh I got it. You can stand directly in front of Mother Brain. And just keep shooting. Yeah. Well her. Uh, Mother Brain is, is I believe canonically human. Now you ask how that's possible to know, um, that's not for me to discuss. Okay, let's switch to Spurs. I think the other way that you can handle these guys is by uh, is by keeping them frozen. Because if they're frozen, they can't easily lose the one. Yeah, it's a lot. And every time you fall, she instantly goes back into um, this phase. So, yeah. So you can see why it's advantageous to stand in front of her. Because she won't... Would all stop. I'm going to die here. This is also why you save. Yep. Like, yeah. it, it is so brutal. Because it's such a small space. So, I need we're getting more health. But you can't. There is no more health left. Or, the amount of health left is so minimal that there is not benefit. There's no benefits to do it. It's just. do it better. I need to make the platforms bigger. That would help. Again, you can destroy these bullets, it's just the only way to destroy them is to, uh, to shine, or not shine, but to, uh, screw attack them. See, standing on this block is the preferred spot, because once you're in this spot, the only thing that can hit you is the underneath. Yeah. 
Oh, self destruct. Now, well, there is also a shine spark that you can get out of. I'm going to fucking die here. Uh, there's also a shine spark you can get out of Mother Brain's room that will uh, take you up to about like here for free. Not doing that. No. Uh, the other funny thing is, um, let me see if I can show this off. So you see how there's, you see how there's a Norfair exit here. There's another exit down here that takes you out. On easy mode, you have so much time for the countdown, you can actually go down the secondary exit, leave, come back through the Norfair exit, and get back up to, uh, to Mother Brain that, and get back up to your ship that way. Oh, it gives you that much time. Uh, yeah, I love this section. To me, I'm done. Yeah, there's the down right there. In fact, I might show this off slightly. I'm not gonna actually go this way, but I wanna point out to myself that that's right. I'll need to remember that later. Okay. Out we go. That was easy. Yep. You know, planet's blowing up, gotta get off the planet, right? Normal Metroid. Okay, I guess the planet's not blowing up. It's just that bit of the planet. Nice and easy. Samus is relaxed. And surrounded. Did your Galaga still good? Don't worry, we can escape them. Super easy. Oh shit. Yup. And back down we go. Oh, did you think the game was done? No, no, no. Now we're in the the uh zero suit section of the game. The timing of my escape couldn't have been worse. I was attacked by space pirates and left nearly defenseless, stripped of my power suit. All I had for protection was my rather useless emergency pistol. Infiltrating the space pirate mothership, so armed, may have been foolish, but I had no choice. Could I survive long enough to escape? Was this added for... Yeah, this was only in Zero Mission. An auto-charging pistol. Oh, cool! Yeah, so now we're doing the... Oh yeah, by the way, even though she doesn't have the ability... Uh, apparently, Samus herself just has the fucking power grip automatically. Because even if you'd never pick up the power grip and you come to the section, you will still pack the power grip. There's a power bomb hole. Well, we definitely don't have that. We don't even have a suit. Although, we weirdly still have all the energy tanks. Dude, this feels like a solid snake game almost. Yep. Yeah, yeah like, really a class metal gear. Yep. This is cool. I like this. Oh. Portal. Yeah, this is one of the best parts of the game. You can skip this map room, but there's exactly one pixel to do it. So you basically can't skip it. Cho Zodia. Mothership map data. Oh yeah, and also, the base pirates have better save rooms. They auto-heal. Wow. So, uh, I'm not saying the space pirates are more advanced than the, uh, Federation or the Chozo. They are. Actually, I think the Federation has these as well. Yeah, you can't actually- you can- you can, uh, not get hit by that, but it's very difficult. Like, you will almost always be spotted there. Uh, this is to teach you how the stealth section of the game works. They are quite stupid. So yeah, that one's basically the only forced stealth section. The rest of these are technically skippable. That one is skippable. Yeah, 
yeah, there's a whole section. Oh, yeah, they can kill themselves. <laughs> Come on, drop down. Thank you. Stealth them up. Yep. This section was directly uh, inspired by one of the rooms in Metric Fusion where you do the same thing to the SAX. Oh. So yeah, I took one whole uh, energy tank of damage. Oh, yeah, they, each shot is one energy tank of damage. Oh, so, God. That's it. Uh, well, yeah. The space pirates are very, they're just very strong. If I remember correctly, you can't damage them with anything. I don't remember if you can even damage them with missiles. Dang. Like, they are, uh, they're very powerful. I'll have to test that. There's a missile door. I don't see any of that here. Yeah, yeah, this this is cool. I like yep. this. There are some shortcuts. Um, there's a missile. Yep. And there's one of the shortcuts. Let me just back this up. I feel like we're doing dread stuff. Yeah, a little bit. Oh yeah, they won't fall into ball blocks. Wait. Yeah, there's a whole there's whole sections you can skip of this. I think this section is skippable. By the way, there's a way to Oh yeah, the, the lights have a weird hitbox. It's not exactly where you think it is, but it is large. Let's let this shoot. I really want to show that off, too. I wonder if I can go backwards. Huh? Yeah. Well, that sucks. I think it's up in here somewhere. There's a there's a spot where you can... You can jump out of... Like, not out of bounds, but you can jump out of the expected area. And into a shortcut. Yes, they are this stupid. They are quite dumb. Dum 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 dum. Yeah, if I can find one of the shortcuts, I'll use it, but otherwise I won't. I just hope I don't accidentally fuck up and go the wrong way. I'm guessing we don't get the suit by the end of this, we're just in zero suit mode. Oops, I didn't get to go. Shit. I am very bad. That was how I had to stop it after I'm getting it. Yes, they are this year. Uh, now if I remember correctly, there's one right there. <laughs> now if I if I recall double correctly, I believe one of the shortcuts is up there. And you can fall down outside of this section. These guys do shit. Oh, yeah. So funny how they are. Joe's a room. Ha ha! 
And they despawn. Yep. And saved again and recharged again. Okay, here's another stealth section. This one I will guarantee I will get. You were inside. See, I can get one. <sighs> yeah, if you're still being chased here, you can drop this down, and then they'll not see you there. Ah, oh, yes, this part of the stealth section. I have some. Okay, this one is not actually free. It looks like it's free. It's not. Because there's a door to come this way. And they will come through it. So that one is free. This one is... Okay. <laughs> They're stupid. But not 100% stupid. There's another one if you didn't figure out the other one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So there's a uh, there's super <laughs> or power bombs up there. There's a sexy sexy statue over there. <laughs> yep. Uh oh. We should go this way. Save. Always save. So yeah, there's power bombs over here. Um. So we're about to get the power bombs, right? So what boss? Oh, so there's a guy right here carrying the power bombs, and even if you were to glitch through the wall to get to him, he is not actually a real uh, space pirate. You can't shoot him. Oh, so you shoot the eye to make it go. No. I believe you can destroy them with screw attack, though, but you can't shoot. Them. If I remember correctly, this eye does actually see down this far. Yeah, okay. Now we are at time, but I don't know how long this section is. Uh, give me a second. I think you can stealth this too. Although it's difficult. But you can gun it? Yeah. You basically have to. I love this section, because the top guy is actually in front, and then he becomes last, because he keeps having to stand up. Running, running, running. This section's really good. Because you just get here and shoot the ground. Well, I don't know where she is. Damn it, we lost her. Yep. Okay. She was smart. This is where we'll stop Metroid. for this episode. Yeah. No, for the average space pirate. And Samus is canonically the greatest enemy, enemy of the space pirates. So she is, like, smarter than your average space pirate. She's smarter than Ridley, who's the leader of the space pirates. So, that's it for this episode, guys. We will come back next time with even more of Metroid Zero Mission, where we get one of the best bosses in the game, and by that I mean one of the least liked bosses in the game. Until then, the future is very uncertain. What is certain is you guys are awesome, and there'll be more Two Bros Game Night tomorrow. See you then. Goodbye. Yeah,